Good afternoon, everyone. Sorry uh, about the little tease earlier. I was trying out YouTube's new uh, on their live hangout thing that's going to be introduced, but it didn't work, and I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to be screen sharing for the first time ever, so you'll have to bear with me probably. And I can see we've got a lot of people in. Hey, everyone. Obviously, Pommy Pickers Rods that's uh, <laughs> taking the mick out of the skydive, which I'll get onto in a minute. Got Andrew, of course, Faith. Uh, who else we've got? Pete's Retro Collectibles. Hello. Aid. Kabu Mania. Lisa Cotton. Matthew Wall was right at the top there. And Dave's just joined in. So, yeah. Hi, everyone. Uh, best get onto the elephant in the room the skydive. If you did catch the lads' live chat on Kabu Chris's channel on Monday, I think it was, they happily got me to two and a half thousand and yes i said move that i said at two and a half thousand i'll do a charity skydive and i now have to do this charity skydive um how it's going to work briefly i've done a bit of research with amy about different sky diving places like near me so i've been researching the best ones basically make sure there's no you know accidents um it's probably going to be i think it's called north london skydiving center or something but yeah i did mention about doing a meetup at the same time but that's probably not going to happen now because doing a skydive stressful enough <laughs> let alone having um a big meetup to arrange as well so uh i did maybe if i do a skydive on a saturday or a friday do a meetup the next day, maybe, or the weekend after. But I was going to plan something in August, an Essex meetup, reseller meetup, hopefully in August by the beach in South End, maybe, maybe Chelmsford's. Who knows? Keep your ears and eyes peeled. Um, so yeah, I think a couple of you thought I was doing a skydive right now. It's not even booked. Don't you worry about that. I ain't rushing. <laughs> Plus, I am going away soon. Um, so it's a bit ill-timed. I don't really want to rush it because I want to do a bit of, you know, um, what's it? Charity. <laughs> Make as much money as possible for them. And, you know, I'm in no rush to jump out of a plane at 15,000 feet, to be honest. <laughs> so it'll probably be, where are we? School holidays next week or the week after. Um, it'll probably be mid or late August I'll do it. But I'm definitely doing it. Don't you worry. Yeah, just going to Spain for a week, Dave. No crime committed. Okay, right. So that's out of the way. I am doing it. I'm not bottling out. <laughs> just doing some research. Got to book it. Do some fundraising. Uh, still haven't 100% decided on the calls yet. And uh, not sure of money target. I would like to hit a good uh, target. Hey, Cheryl, Pound Girl. <laughs> what's that uh tat doctors in uh oh matthew's only in norwich what's that hour and a bit away we know we go to center parks that's in fetford that only takes an hour or so from here so yeah that's that bit done the main reason i came on was to also do a sales roundup i was going to film a video but uh my day's pulled short today it's um so I'm at the school at two, so I've lost an hour instead of gained an hour because uh, after school clubs aren't on anymore. So I thought it'd be easier. Come on live, try and do a screen script, a screen share <laughs> that I've never done before. I've seen obviously Nick do it and a few others, and it looks quite simple. And yeah, sold quite a few tasty things recently to share. I've tried to pick out things that I haven't like when I do it on my head, picking it out. I haven't. I've, well, I think I've. I might, there might be a couple that I've already showed. So apologies for that. Uh, <laughs> Andrew, here we go. George has hit the one million pound turnover mark. Not quite. No, no. <laughs> Can't be dealing with VAT and all that just yet. Actually, if you follow me on Instagram, I don't know how to put the link in, but it's the same name as the YouTube channel Retro Reselling. I did actually put a post on today, uh, earlier this week, 
I was full time three years ago exactly, and I showed how I started. I got a little pop up shed. Uh, I try and share it on here. I've got my iPad here. But I was obviously reselling before going full time, like saving up for our wedding day and everything. But the, uh, ah, here we go. Three years today, I was setting up my shed to go full time. I try and scroll, you know, just to show you what I had to deal with. It's literally a pop up shed thing. This was before I actually found the YouTube community. So everything was like vintage from auctions and stuff. Proper um, salvage hunter, that like Drew. <laughs> but um, yeah, I didn't have the garage. I'd, I wasn't allowed in a loft then. I was literally, that was my everything, like packaging, items I've, that I've bought and sold. And it was furniture and it was in this small little pop-up shed. So that's three years ago. Um, yeah, obviously now, got my unit, nice and safe, turning over a nice amount. There's an annoying fly in here. Yeah, I thought that's quite cool. I didn't realise it was three years already. Uh, the pop-up shed's not there anymore, though. <laughs> if you've seen my videos, I think early videos, I've got like a... Um, I think it's made by Keta, um, just to keep my cardboard and packaging supplies in, because... <laughs> the pop-up shed was blocking our kitchen window. Same, we've got a window back. Bless her. All right, should we go on with some sales? This is actually from the past 60 days, um, I believe. And I've actually gone sorted out from highest to lowest. So this is, I think there's 12 I've picked out together. So we'll start with the 12th highest. No, we won't. You know what I mean. We'll go in order. The last one will be the highest to, um, priced one. So let's screen share, shall we? Oh God, Should, I'll just share my entire screen, that'll do. Hey, there you go, there's the chat. Hey, we are at real. <laughs> hey real ale, sorry about that. Any questions, pop up shared. Yeah, I don't know where the link is because um, it was obviously three years ago. I'm not sure if they actually sell them anymore. Uh, <laughs> YouTube community versus Insta. Yeah. Yeah, if you don't know, I know I did go live a few weeks ago and I did say I was on a certain Facebook group, but I've just completely pulled out now, to be honest. I'm now on Insta only. Facebook was it was too distracting and everything. So yeah, follow me on Instagram. There we go. All right, let's start with the first item. Oh my god. <laughs> Which is this one. Let me know if you, all right, let me make sure you can definitely see this, okay. Bear with me. Just getting this up on my iPad. Yeah, it's looking good. So here we go, Hellraiser. Uh, he did feature on a video, boot sale video. I bought him for 20 pounds. Uh, they wouldn't come down from that, but it's just an 18, 18 inch figure. I can't talk today. Uh, obviously, it's from the Hellraiser movies, which is a horror movie from the, I want to say, 80s, 90s. Uh, came with his box. Uh, he's supposed to have three weapons. Only came with two in this picture here. I don't know if I can... Ah, oh, there you go. I had this cube thing. I've never actually seen the films, but he's got this cube thing. There's a sword and this dagger. What's it? It's supposed to have a knife as well, but um, yeah, even with a missing... Uh, what's it? Hundred pounds, and he's actually going to New Zealand. So I have no idea what they've paid here on postage because it's GSP. But they paid obviously the hundred plus my postage. Postage isn't free, <laughs> and GSP to New Zealand. So cracking score. And this I've actually practiced just before I went live. Actually, so he's on his way out today. Next one, I think this is from my very first boot sale video. I thought. Oh, hold up. Now we're all good. Yeah, uh, I think this was from my first boot sale uh, vlog video thing. Um, pay £20 again. Uh, Samsonite, here we go. Samsonite Eureka suitcases. Again, sort of retro y 90s, like fabric. Like they're not light or anything, they're quite heavy. But yeah, nice sort of set of five. They all packed inside each other like this which made it handy for posting, obviously. It was still quite heavy once it was all in. I think it was nearly 20 kilograms altogether. 
yeah, from 20, 150, they paid that, plus the £10 postage. That went with Parcel Force, which was about £9-ish. Pound. And yeah, um, obviously Samsonite, oh, there was some damage as well from being travelled. Obviously include all that, some sticker residue there. How do you do this? Oh, there you go. Some sticker residue, residue there. Somewhere here. But yeah, obviously always include this sort of thing. This is quite big. I thought this was going to affect it, but apparently not. Samsonite being made in Belgium, I believe. Obviously a nice brand and nicely made. So if you don't mind the packaging, always look out for Samsonite. And yeah, good returns on that. What, if I, what happens if I press close? Right, actually, we'll go into the chat, see if we've got any questions or anything about these first two items. Um, da -da. I wasn't a sound of a kaching, David. That was just a, I ordered some more packaging stuff. It was just uh, dispatched. Yeah, really good prices on these. I thought I was aiming a bit too high at 150, but apparently not. Uh, Faith, no offense meant, but surprised it's gone with the damage. You live and learn. Yeah, that's what I thought originally, but the Samsonite name, and obviously it's a really nice like matching set. It's all ready to go and be used. Um, yeah, apparently uh, even a bit of damage, because obviously if you buy a suitcase and go abroad, they're going to pick up some sort of wear anyway, so I guess they just like the name, and they're going to get chucked about anyway. Hey, DBG. Haven't forgiven you for what you said yesterday about the thing I ordered. Um, so there's that one. Let's move on, because I know Ads, I think Ads is going live, so I don't want to interrupt his thing. Right, I've done that one. There's the chat. Uh, one second. Ah, here we go. Here's another recent pickup. This was last week, I believe, uh, from a hi-fi guy. Paid £30 for this. And obviously all working, like good condition, just a few marks in that. Um, I think I said in the video, I was going to split it all up, uh, like remote, sub, speakers, and then sell the main unit together. But, um, oh, sorry, this isn't, Ads is going live late today. Oh, that's okay. Don't want to interrupt Ads' Thursday thing. But yeah, getting back to this, uh, I did see someone actually sold this all together as a complete set for 150. Uh, I think they'd done three posts off the top of my head. But um, yeah, I didn't have any competition, as far as I remember, for postage and a whole set of this. So I went top end plus postage. And it went within the week. And this one, I believe I packed, what was it? I think it was Monday. And it should have received, right, what's the day today? Thursday. Yeah, as far as I know, they've received this. And they're quite happy with it because I haven't had the return or message or anything, which is always good. No news is good news. Yeah, just a really nice set. Um, I think I would have picked this up on its own for £30. Loads of connections. We see a good name. Um, I never know how to say it. Onkyo, Onko, Onkyo, I think it is. I believe it was made in Japan, was it? Let's have a look. Uh, oh, made in Malaysia. Oh, not Japan, but it's a modern one. So obviously modern things aren't tend to be made as well as they used to. So yeah, that's why I always say look out for electronics. And if you can get a reliable source like I have, you can pay up a bit, even though thirty pounds was a bargain, to be honest. So I could have gone up to sort of what sixty pounds and still made profit, and it would have been worth it. So if you can get a trusted guy, pick him up, and it sells for good money. So, uh, anything in the chat about this? Who do I post with from Pink Harpy? This also went with Parcel Force. In fact, while I'm screen sharing, I'll show you the website I use. Here we go. This is who I use, Parcel Force. Oh, Parcel Force. <laughs> Parcel to go. And I don't know how much I can show without giving away, like, address details. I best not. But yeah, uh, Parcel to go. This links to your eBay account. So when you sell something, it automatically uploads it to this um, website so you don't have to keep typing in the address and everything. And uh, All you've got to do is, obviously, 
type in um the weight and dimensions and you'll get comparisons from like db not dbg <laughs> what's that company dbd uh ups parcel force hermes there's loads so yeah, it's basically a price comparison and it's fully tracked um yeah highly recommend it i can drag the feet a bit with like damage or whatever but just make sure you package your things properly there we go and that's that one so let's get rid of this oh there's the chat again <laughs> uh here we go i put these together and bear with me while i do this talk amongst yourselves so i set this up quick and that one and not that one where's it gone oh no i've lost one <laughs> oh no where's it gone bear with me <laughs> Uh, where's it going? There it is. Sorry, right. I must have deleted it. Right, because they're both similar. I was going to put these together. Oh my god, where's that gone now? There we go. There we go. We've got there in the end. So, put these together. They haven't gone to the same um, buyer. But it's obviously a very similar item. So, I don't want to drag on if you're not interested in this sort of thing. But very similar. I think I've got um, this one here, these set of drawers. These were from a British Heart Foundation um, furniture shop in town. I paid, I think it was £15 plus, did I get these delivered? I think I got these delivered with another three items. And then they only charged me a tenner for postage because it's literally down the road. So 15 so I've got £17, £18 into this. This went, I think this went full price. Let me double check. Don't want to be telling lies. Yep, 125 Plus my courier charge. This one went to London. Normally my per like vintage furniture goes to London, like hip and trendy places and stuff. So yeah, I've got my garage. This is where I keep like things like this in my garage. Because um, obviously, if I put this in my unit, my current unit, it would soon fill up, and I'm already struggling for space. So ah, while I'm here, I could show you who I do use for because there is a video I keep delaying about um, Courier, but there's either any van. I recommend this one for if things go sort of... Um, here you go, let's show you. Um, here we go. So from my address, let's say... Uh, uh, let's say this is going to Theresa May. <laughs> I don't know what the postcode is for that. So it's going to Downing Street. There we go. What am I moving? Oh, you can actually put an eBay item. Here we go. Now it'll take you through to the next page. Uh, find this, which is quite handy. Whack that in. And say where it's going. Downing Street. So London from, from me is about what half hour, 40 minutes, so not too far away. If it was going any further than that, then price does rack up, which is when I start using my, um, we'll say free chest drawer, because they're together. Yeah, so if I get a message from someone who's interested, like I did get a message interested in buying this, obviously postage here, the courier is available um but they need to yeah they need a quote to obviously go ahead so that's when i would obviously ask for their postcode because it's okay to get a postcode um outside of ebay not outside of ebay obviously don't give you a full address don't ask for their full address because ebay that'll flag up you'll get a warning and a ban so um getting a postcode or area is okay so you whack that in oh god i just want a few of them now Oh, there we go. And then, here we go. So if Theresa May wanted a nice bit of a teak unit, I would then screenshot this for the month and say, pick your day, basically. Here's a little map here. Uh, it hasn't got my address, that's okay. <laughs> so yeah, obviously best price here, Sunday, 47 pounds. There's quite a few here during the week, 47. Saturdays is quite good. So yeah, send that screenshot over. 
if they're happy, they choose it. You then go and book it to say Theresa May before she leaves the office. <laughs> she wants it there. And here you can choose two people, but obviously that starts adding money up. So just make sure they've got someone that can help. You know, collection from you. You can um, select when you're free. So on a Sunday, I think I had the collection last Sunday just gone. And obviously I'm at boot sales. So I said between 12 and, you know, it starts adding money up the shorter the time frame. But I think mine was like this, 12 to 6. They came at about 4, I think it was delivered and also they've improved so i'm waffling on a bit <laughs> but um i was a bit skeptical using this um probably the last year or so because obviously they if it's a bit like uber eats or deliveroo now um yeah so you book it through here but they pass the job on to like independent man and van companies but it's improved a lot because it is like Uber Eats, like I said, because it's like tracked. You can see precisely where your item is, like along this map here. If I can open this out. So the day comes, say they book on Sunday, Theresa May, she's agreed. Uh, say my delivery man lives in Colchester. Uh, it would like You can track him exactly where they are. So I think on Sunday I was out and about and I had to rush back and I could see precisely where the driver was so I could make sure I was back in time and that. Then once it's picked up, you can track it all the way to make sure it's there. And also, um, you can show eBay. So because if the buyer tries a little scammy scam, um, saying they're not, they didn't receive it, you can obviously show eBay it has been received because it's fully tracked, reference number and everything. So yeah, I won't go on anymore. I'll quickly show you my other option. So yeah, I recommend this one if it's not going too far away. So here you can see, oh, I'm pointing at the screen, 42 miles, 47 pound. That's a good deal there. Any further than that, it starts getting expensive, which is when I use a company called Silver Sprint. And they have, one second, let me get the right thingy, my Bob, this one. Here we go. Um, these are also tracked, not as like detailed as any van, but they have set prices. I have a like a login. I've got a business account, and the set prices is I don't know if I can find it. eBay services. Here we go. Price list. I think I get a slightly better deal being a business account holder. Do do do. Ah, oh, here we go. That's a little more broken down than I get, but basically. Instead of uh, precise locations, it's just England and Wales. I haven't got this. I've got, uh, I think it's £40, £55, and up to 65 I've just got the three brackets, and it covers different volumes. So like a nice set of chairs, that would be like the £40 plus fat, and that can go all the way up to, not Scotland, it doesn't cover Scotland. I believe there's a surcharge. Yeah, yeah. So say I was going to Newcastle, it would be the same price as going to like round the corner to me or to London. They're really good. I recommend them, but I will get onto a video about them. I won't waffle on about that anymore. So yeah, that one went for one, two, five. Again, same again. Ugh. You go over there. And this one cost me the grand total of £10. Again, a nice set of teak drawers, mid-century, on nice legs. 150, I believe they paid that as well. I oh, know 135 took an offer plus the courier, so 10 to 135. It just sits in my garage, it's not in the way. Lovely jubbly. Obviously, you need a lot of space for furniture. Uh, let's go to the next one. All right, I've ignored the chat for a little bit. Hey, Nick, how are we doing? Good chat with uh, Rod yesterday. I was doing my pictures while I was watching along. Chris B, how are we doing? Tech Doctor, I think I've already said hi. Um, Pound Kale stopped using any van. I prefer Ship Shipley. Yeah, I did use Shipley. Um, I think that's the one you have to you send off for a job and you get quotes back. Uh, yeah, I'm the opposite to you. I stopped using that and now use any van. If I haven't used any van for a little while, Cheryl, um, try it again. It's really good. Um, I said a couple of times, but it's like a Deliveroo or Uber Eats. Like when your delivery's on the way, you can track precisely what roads they're on and it, 
like estimated time so it's really good um let's have a look do, do, do. Uh, apparently dave told a joke let's, let's have a look oh theresa may yeah she would like that even though she's leaving soon uh there we go rod there's loads of uh he's in australia if you don't know um got a youtube channel uh, there's loads of that type of furniture over here, George, but no one wants it. Oh, no, no one wants it. At least no one I can find. <laughs> Good firewood. Oh, don't say that. Uh, people I've suddenly cut and done the past sort of year and a half, sort of couple of years, when I first started, yeah, four or three years ago, people did think it was firewood and like granny furniture. Um, oh, wait, sorry. While I'm talking to the chat, might as well get up. Um... Or do you want to see my lovely face? <laughs> no, don't want to see that. Yeah, um, when I started, people thought it was granny furniture, firewood furniture, and I was getting it dirt cheap. It's quite hard to get it cheap now, even though I've got these two items cheap. But yeah, people have gotten done. There's lots of competition. But luckily, I've moved on to electronics and stuff now, so I'm not too reliant on it. All right, let's move along. Uh, what's this one here? That's that one. We've done that one. Here we go. Uh, did I feature this in a video? I can't remember. But this, again, I normally slate a British Heart Foundation, but this was in their furniture shop again. And this one cost me 20 pounds. And I believe it, I need to double check. Uh, I think they sell for the four mount. I know 160 I took, took an offer. 160 pounds from 20. And this sold again within a month. Uh, Yamaha uh, keyboard, obviously, it's got the I click on it here. Got the power adapter. It's got that thing. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Instructions is always handy. Helps it sell faster. This one achieved a high premium because did I take a picture of it? Oh, it's here. Uh, here we go. There's a floppy disk drive which I've not actually seen before, and I believe there was one in here. Ah, oh, here we go. I don't know if it helps teach you of if it's instructions or you can record your songs on but yeah it's quite a rare feature i think on keyboards and that's why i got a premium price for it normally keyboards don't tend to go for this much unless it's something like really good if this didn't have a um, floppy disk i'd expect sort of 85 95 maybe yeah Look out for keyboards. Oh, this was a. Oh, I know where I've included this. I think I've done a live packaging video, <laughs> and I pussied. Oh, don't swear. And I wimped. <laughs> I wimped out of wrapping this live, and it was a, such a pain. It took up the whole kitchen wrapping this one. So yeah, uh, if you've got the space, don't mind a wrapping challenge. Uh, obviously, another ten pound postage. Went with Parcel Force again. They tend to take my big stuff. Uh, yeah. Keep a lookout. Good name. Yeah, there we go. Don't really know what else to say. Fun to test as well. I like to do a Ross from uh, Friends on keyboards. Electrifying. Now, this wasn't to resell. <laughs> Amy kept the money for this one. Uh, let's have a look. £180. Took an offer. And they collected in person. Did obviously offer my courier serviced but they came again from london <clears throat> i bought this back in uh what was it we got married may 2016 i picked this up the month before so april 2016 i picked this up and it cost me 20 pounds for my local boot sale um which is really handy i was gonna buy it to resell but we used it at our wedding um in fact while you're here have a look you can see it in action uh, while i'm getting that up let's have a look in the chat photos here we go dave floppies get refitted blah 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 can you play anything i can't play the keyboard i'm a guitar bloke myself and i can't hardly play that either i like to think i can uh right here we go Let's look at my pictures. Here we go. 
have a look at some wedding photos, shall we? <laughs> uh, there's a popcorn machine. I know there's a couple here because my brother is in charge of that. Oh, how sweet. Uh, go down, go down. <laughs> oh, look at me. Right, where is it? Getting choked up. Wedding speech. Bless him. Ice cream machine. Ah, here we go. There he is, the brother. Here's the popcorn machine being used. £20. I think to hire one, we was looking at sort of 80 to 100 just for the day. But obviously, bought it, used it. Used it for a couple of parties as well. And it was in our front room for a little while. Don't know if there's any more pictures of it. Uh, I don't think so. No. But yeah, there you go. Look, look into the wedding day there. But yeah, it was in the front room, sort of retro decor, but sold it in the end because it was in the way. <laughs> yeah, we kissed. No tongues, though, just lips or on the cheek even. Uh, I know it didn't sell for this amount. It sold. I took an offer. don't know why it's not showing. Took 180. It came from London. Uh, paid in cash as well, so it saved on PayPal fees. And yeah, could show it working, all worked well, gave it a good clean. Uh, I use elbow grease for cleaning this sort of thing. Got that straight off. And yeah, happy days. Again, this sat in my garage. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> I recommend looking at garages. Obviously, you can get like units like I've got, but the bigger they get, the more expensive. Mine costs about 140 <clears throat> £140 every four weeks, and I was looking to double the size, but that goes up to 300 But garage is only 50 50 pounds a month, whack it in, and furniture items, like big sale items like this, just tick away nicely. Um, yeah, there we go. So a little bit of a wedding day there. What a special treat. More furniture. I included this one because... This was on a, I think it's when I'd done my comparison um, town charity shops to outer town charity shops. And I got this, what was it, £30 plus the, um, what's it? The, what am I trying to say? Delivery was another £10 that owed me 40 Sat in my garage again. Uh, what did I take for this one? 155 uh, plus the courier charge. This one went to Surrey, I believe. And this one was picked up on Sunday. Had to rush back because I was running late as usual. But yeah, just a nice teak. It's like, it's not real teak. It's like um, full mica, I think it's called. But it's like what I've got behind me in the front room. If I... No, I won't stop sharing. I'll mess it up somehow. <laughs> but you see in my videos behind me, we've got something similar. My one's G plan. If I was to sell ours, I'd be asking sort of near 300, but this is sort of a, um, that, <laughs> I won't say it, Schreiber, Schreiber, I can't say it, but it's like a lower end model, so not as well made. Here we go, Schreiber, Schreiber. <laughs> so again, another hefty item that you would need like a massive amount of storage space for. But once you've pictured it, you just forget about it and it ticks away and when it sells, it's a nice chunky sale. Um, uh, and Anthony, in the, going in the chat, garage is in his area. I'm not sure where that is. Ninety pounds, and you have to pay for maintenance. That's quite expensive. Mine, yeah, fifty fifty five pounds. Obviously, I'm in Essex, so it's an expensive area for property. But that's like an ex council garage, um, so it's like no frills. It could be broken into at any point. I've got security and an alarm and stuff on it. But um, yeah, for now, um, I'm going to slowly get rid of it as sales pick up um, so I don't get distracted. So yeah, um, it, it's done the job. I've had that for a couple of years. And there we go, another furniture. I think that's the last furniture one in case this bores you. Next, uh, we've got four to go. Stick in there. Here we go. This one was also on a boot sale video. I think this was a, if I remember rightly, uh, bank holiday Monday. I didn't do very well. I picked up like two things from my first one. So I went to Colchester and I picked up a shoddy trolley and I shoved this in it. I paid 50, I think. 
and this sold did i take an offer 220 so did i take yeah took an offer 220 pounds from 50 pounds uh this isn't any old printer this is a massive it prints a3 posters um so i think the guy i bought it from he had a printing shop uh, and this is where that came from because um he's moved on or he's closed it down uh he wouldn't take any less because he knew it was a good machine it had recently oh here we go if you do sell uh printers with ink i recommend doing this because this helped see how much ink is in it and take a screenshot of how much ink obviously the reds fall uh obviously these two are what's it they're low but yeah this shows the buyer they're getting a bit more value from the ink because obviously ink's not cheap i think um ink's quite expensive here you go it all works on plain paper give the buyers confidence uh this took a couple of months to sell and yeah um so if you see i think in my recent video um i was with sam uh we saw one similar to this i don't think it's as good as a model and it looked a bit beaten up uh the guy wanted 20 pounds i'd already picked up loads of stuff and I think something to do with the tray was snapped or something that needed replacing. So I couldn't be bothered. Um, I couldn't be bothered. Um, yeah, sorry, I had a drink. Um, so yeah, if you find a printer that seems larger than normal and you don't mind a packing challenge again, pick them up or at least look them up because um, they fetch some very good money. Let's dip into the chat. Let's get the chat up while I'm looking myself. Uh, covers my garage with shelves. Yeah, I haven't got shelves in mine because uh, it's all like furniture stuff. Um, uh, only allowed to store cars. Yeah, um, I did mention I'd be keeping stock and they didn't seem to mind. So, yeah, if you are going to um, get a garage, look up the T's and C's. <laughs> honest yeah i wish i had a garage i live in a terrace house so i haven't even got like an alleyway um yeah oops just drop something yeah right let's move on we've got three or the top three items from the past 90 days here we go this i bought this from auction i've got these sort of stuck around for Mm, I want to say half a year, three quarters of a year. They're just vintage matchbox like shop displays. I'm not sure exactly how they were used, but I guess like for shop uh, matchbox cars, these would hang on like they would hold like the boxes or something. I'm not really sure, but I believe I had nine of these. Um, I went to my yeah local like antique auction. I paid ninety for all nine. I think it was. It says seven, but I did have nine um yeah paid 90 plus the commission so like 110 we'll say um selling i did start selling about 110 each and one actually went for that so one covered basically everything and then this sale is the third highest because someone bought if we see here one two three four five i bought five and they paid a grand total of 300 pounds for five of them which is very handy. So um, I'm not up with my maths. Divided by five, what's that? Three divided by five. <laughs> but yeah, they started to link around. I was happy to do a deal. And obviously, I'd already made my money back. I'd already sold two. One went for 110. The other one went for 95. These have gone for 300. So that is absolutely awesome score. One listing, they all sort of similar. Uh, if I get the listing back up again. Uh, I think I actually took a picture of all of them. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I did get a seven. Sorry, I said nine. So yeah, uh, one sold for 110. One sold for 95. And then the rest sold for 300. Absolutely awesome. They're really flat, really light. These went with Hermes. Um, absolutely no bother to package. So I wish I had some more, really. Really cool retro like display and a good name as well all right uh i think we all know the next sale <laughs> but we'll catch up with the chat if anyone's got any questions about that um da -da -da. 
I can't see any questions about that, just about the garages. That's fine. Yeah, right, moving on. Top two sales. Do you recognize this guy? Haven't banged on about him enough, have I? <laughs> B-Store, my man. He's gone. He's arrived safely at the GSP center. Um, I could look up, actually, on my iPad now if he's actually at his destination because this could soon get like an opened return so i haven't actually paid myself for the sale yet uh because i don't want to pay myself and then suddenly get a massive thing oh here we go your item was delivered the second that was quick uh there you go he was delivered nine days ago and i haven't heard anything um no feedback no messages no news is good news. So yeah, I think we can safely say, touch woods, he is sold. Obviously, we all know the story. I'm going to bang it on about it again. Cost me a pound from a local charity shop. Dropped the girls off at school. He was sitting on top of the uh, plush basket. I thought it was worth 40 quid because I thought it was just like the usual guy. But no, his B-Store, this uh, like bad guy from the TV series, uh, yeah, bought the handcuffs uh bought another toy like the cheapest one on ebay with the handcuffs gave him the handcuffs sold the other toy alone uh got a couple of time wasters at 300 actually accepted they didn't pay yeah had a 10 percent offer on and it went off to america and yeah just i think this is my favorite sale ever maybe yeah definitely in my top three at least Obviously, I had the Rupert Bear that went for 700 but this is awesome. It, soft toy. I did put him in a cardboard box. Like It was well padded and well protected. Um, yeah, I wasn't taking any risks. He went with um, Royal Mail, special delivery. So he was insured up to £500, and he got there. I sent him 4 o'clock in the afternoon at my local post office, and the tracking showed he got to eBay, at four in the morning the next morning which is amazing service well done royal mail i do slate them sometimes but job well done there yeah there's a video on him if you are new to the channel i just bang on about him because yeah it's just absolutely awesome i don't think well i won't get a sale like this again for quite a while i guess so yeah there we go Look out for soft toys. <laughs> there is gems every now and then. I've never spoke so much in my life. Right, and the number one best sale from the past 60 days is... Dun, 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 orange juice machine. And yes, I got this four amount, and we can double check, just in case I am wrong. Uh, where's it gone? Here we go. 795 for an orange juice machine. <laughs> I say it's not just any old orange juice machine. Um, it's used in like retail shops. Like you can start a little small business, I guess. Like a little money owner. It holds up to I think it was twenty four oranges up the top here. They roll down the thing. They come into here, get squashed up. It cuts it, and then the waste goes in the buckets here. And you got your glass, and it fills up with fresh orange juice. And then obviously you charge whatever, make your money. Um, these brand new i did look them up uh it was ridiculous amounts of money i bought this from um facebook marketplace if and um yeah facebook marketplace uh it has been with me for a while uh sort of half a year again maybe almost a year maybe um i think it was 280 pound i paid there's nothing on ebay to go on but i saw what they retail for here you go this is roughly what they retail for. Is that the same one? Roughly the same. Two and a half grand nearly. What's this one? I don't know if this is new or not. I'll click on this one. So when the machine costs like brand new 1,600 pounds, like 1,700 pounds, I know at 280 used in good working condition, uh, there's money to be made. I made up a price. I think I did start originally at um, 995. Obviously, go hard or go home. Uh, yeah, it's lingered around a bit. Dropped and dropped the price. 
seven nine five plus thirty pound postage, and this one also went to London, um, and it has gone to a little small business, I believe, like a cafe, I believe, off the top of my head. This was picked up, you or this was used with who I showed earlier, Silver Sprint. Um, uh, where is it for anyone that's just joined? This is the company I used for this one. They picked it up on Monday. Bang on time. It's tracked. Um, I don't think it's been delivered yet. It's been delivered tomorrow. So I should hopefully. There's, like, it's all working. The guy who I bought it from showed me it working. It's really cool. So yeah, I'm just hoping there's no problems because that's, an, again, another hefty return if it does. So yeah, 280, into 800 just happy days again and this came within a couple of weeks of b store so yeah sales have been slow but when they do come in it has luckily been these hefty sales which i am really happy about i think that was the last one there's some orange juice and yeah well, i'm back onto my face i guess to wrap this video up hopefully you found this okay oh here i am hello <laughs> let's get the chat up what did you think of that? Was that all right? I think I waffled on a bit with the furniture. Uh, anything in the chat? Nick, 280 paid. Just shows you got to spend it. Yeah. Can I always bang on about this as well? Do not be afraid to splash the money out because especially on items like that, like obviously it's really well made. It was really heavy, like 30 kilograms. It's made for businesses, so it's not going to be cheap rubbish. Um, obviously, I've had to wait almost a year, like three quarters of a year. But I'm reaping the rewards now. It's all about the long game. It's not like in and out sort of thing. You can do that, but I'm more the medium to longer like tail items. Not really long tail. I try to get away from that. Like furniture's long tail. And two drawers also took a few months to sell. But yeah, hope you found that interesting. Uh, I've got an hour before I get the girls, so I need some lunch. Um, thanks, Crispy. Quality sales. Uh, thanks, Andrew. <laughs> DBG, George is the winner of eBay. No. Yeah, I've done okay. Uh, Craigslist Hunter Pete, he's the winner of eBay. Love his videos. It's brilliant. He's who I sort of, he's my raw, uh, bleh, can't speak again. Um, if you don't follow Craigslist Hunter, I'm sure you all know him. But go ahead and check him out. He's my favorite YouTuber. He's my role. I can't speak. He's my role model <laughs> like with eBay when it comes to business. Obviously, he picks up all the electricals, big heavy equipment like I am starting to find. And yeah, can't um, praise him enough, really. Don't be modest, you buffoon. Yeah, sorry. Right, to wrap this up, there's my sales. Um, if you've just caught on the end of this video, I reached my 2,500 subscribers. Thank you so much. I should say thanks to Andrew, Chris, and Peter on Monday on the ledge chat. They helped push me over that mark. Thanks. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, I'm going on holiday soon. So it's going to be after that. So I haven't booked anything and I haven't chosen a charity, but I will keep you informed. I haven't like ducked out of it. I will be doing it. I've been raising lots of money for charity and I'm not going to do a meetup on the same day as the charity dive because that's a lot of stress for me. Um, so but I will be organizing an Essex meetup. So yeah, keep your eyes peeled. Um, I'm on Instagram. I'm not on Facebook anymore, unfortunately, on um, face in the reselling community. So yeah, find me on Instagram. I'll put posts up on there about the skydive date, who I'm raising money for. Uh, yeah, there we go. Hope you enjoyed that. I need to go. Uh, I keep mess messing my words up. Just done it again. <laughs> As for videos this week, I haven't got anything planned. I haven't filmed anything. The last video I just uploaded is doing really good. So check that out. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit the bell so you can catch lives like this one. Thanks for joining. I don't know how many people are in, but cracking little chat going on. Let's make sure there's no questions before I do go. 
uh, Andrew, George told me I was his favourite YouTuber. Now the truth comes out. Sorry, Andrew. <laughs> You're my favourite YouTuber in Wrexham. There you go. How's that? <laughs> um, enjoy the holly bobs. Yeah, I will do. It's during the school holiday, so we won't get fined this time. On in the centre parks holiday, like I done a video on it. That was in February, and we got a fine for the first time, but it was still cheaper than going outside of school time. Uh, da -da -da. right there we go. Caught up with the chat. Thanks again, everyone. Like and subscribe. I'll chat to you on Insta. Send me messages if you've got any queries or whatever. Yeah, I'm getting tired now. All this talking. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. And hang up.